need to think of that. Awesome. Can you talk about your experience last night? Um, last night I was at the uh, protest um, uh, off of University Boulevard and I saw the police escalate violence and then they uh, forcefully grabbed me by my hair and dragged me across the street and then put me in handcuffs and arrested me. That was my experience, at least at the end there. My experience during the day was incredibly peaceful. I saw um, a lot of comrades come together to build something really, really beautiful and uh, through solidarity we were able to maintain the line and only end up with four arrests. So I think that I saw something uh, pretty courageous and beautiful yesterday. And I've seen you guys out there uh, protesting and whatnot in different aspects ever since I would say probably October of last year and it's been fairly peaceful. What do you think led to the escalation this time around? Um, I think that the people protesting have always been peaceful. Um, we were unarmed. Uh, we were, we, yeah, we were unarmed. We had, we had a complete uh, personal responsibility to peace. The only people who bring violence in this situation are the police officers. Uh, we, are, we were in a spot peacefully um, making our demands. We weren't hurting anybody. Again, had no weapons. The police decided to storm us. They decided to say we were trespassing. They decided to make it unlawful. They decided to make it violent. They decided to drag me by my hair out into the street. It was a police decision to, in, to be violent. If, if we had the choice, we would never have any violence whatsoever. Why would we? The violence is almost always directed towards protesters. It's never directed towards police officers. A police officer didn't get killed or hurt tonight, but protesters did. And um, as my colleague mentioned earlier to the other person who was arrested here and released, uh, are, what are you guys hoping for? I mean, you can go out and protest a billion times, but what is your hope? Are you hoping that the state legislature here in Arizona will enact or the president, Joe Biden, will do something uh, to stop what's going on over there? I, th <laughs> I think it's pretty uh, clear that Joe Biden and the legislature are not going to do anything. Um, but I think that our protests are to show our solidarity with Gaza. Um, I know personally, outside of any gains that we could make, that there are eyes on us in Gaza. There are Gazans who are seeing what we're doing and understanding that we're staying in solidarity and giving them hope uh, when they're facing you know, bombs, they're losing their homes, they're losing their family members. Giving them hope is worth anything. It's worth all these protests. Even if it seems fruitless, that's, um, that's enough fruit for me. And kind of just wrapping things out, we're seeing a lot of universities and their students step up to go out and protest. And here we see it at the University of Arizona. Do you think this will be something that will continue on? Of course. Um, there will be another protest. There will be months of protests. We'll protest until this oppressive system ends. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.